Yo, what's up, y'all? This is this is the Mac Man, and uh, I've just been inspired just now by my girl Paris. Um, I've known Paris for a long time, and uh, sometimes I'll log on to her stuff and uh, you know listen to what she has to say, and a lot of things that she says is very inspirational. Now I just logged on to something that she was saying, and um, it it kind of sparked my question of the day. And my question of the day for Monday, the, um, what is it, the the, the uh, 13th, is um, how do you conquer jealousy? Um, I know a lot of you guys aren't going to like what I have to say right now, but it, it is what it is at this point. How do you conquer jealousy? And uh, my answer to that is stop being jealous. I mean, everybody is not meant to be successful. Everybody's not meant to be successful. Everybody's not supposed to be successful. Right? And unfortunately, it might be you. But the only person that determines that is you and God. You two are the only people that determine that as to whether you're supposed to be successful or not. God gives you the tools. He gives you the gift. You just have to use them properly and at the right time. But some of you just waste it because you're so into being jealous of other people and what other people are doing and not doing for you. You know what I'm saying? even to bring myself up because I can talk and speak about this because people say things about me. People say things about me and what I do and how I show my stuff and all I try to do is just inspire people because I'm a young black man from Homewood, poverty stricken area and I didn't grow up with a silver spoon in my mouth. You understand what I'm saying? At the age of 16, I started working a little summer job. You know what I mean? So I've been working my ass off for years in order to accomplish what I've accomplished. You know, I've had my bank account seized. I've had child support up the ass. You understand what I'm saying? I've, I, I was a single parent. I've had my son since the age of a year old, a year and a half. And I raised him all the way up until the age of 18, 19 years old. Now, there were times when we struggled and we didn't know where our next meal was coming from. You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, I didn't waste my time being jealous of somebody else what I would do is see that somebody else was doing better than me and I wanted to know how did they do it so I asked them instead of being jealous of them try to use their knowledge try to tap in to what it is that they're doing to get where they got now if they're doing something wrong to get to where they got then I need to move on and try to find another way the right way that I always do the right thing no, I did not. You know what I'm saying? But I'd be damned if I was going to sit around and watch and, and, and be brought down by being fed by somebody else's jealousy. Being jealous of somebody else. Because I was fed by being jealous sometimes. Because I wanted what they have. Or I wanted to be better than them. But I'd be damned if I was going to sit there and be jealous of them and point fingers at them. Because they decided to do something that I didn't. That's like my boy, Troy Miles. Now, I don't know Troy. I don't know him. But let me tell you something. I wanted to know what he was doing and how he was doing and how he got to where he is. And guess what? We talked on the phone. That man took his time out of his day to talk to me on the phone and answer some questions for me. So if I got a guy who's willing to, who's millionaire, willing to take the time out of his day to talk to me and educate me on how to get to where he's at, then by all means, I'm going to do just that because he took the time out to do it. And I'm going to take everything that he's telling me to heart and to mind and use it to the best of my abilities instead of being jealous, instead of being jealous and hating on it doesn't make sense to do that. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is 
take whatever, take whatever you can do, home. take whatever you can do to not be jealous of somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Jealousy will not, jealousy will hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Jealousy will break you down. Being jealous of somebody else and what somebody else is doing will keep you from getting the things that you want to do, will stop you from accomplishing your goals. So what you need to do is just fuel uh, that jealousy and go ahead and accomplish those goals. All right? But I want to know what you guys think and how do you guys think you can conquer jealousy because I'm sick of it, man. You know what I mean? And I've come a long way. All right? I've come a very long way. All right? But my thing now, because when, when, you're, when you're on top or when you're striving for the top, people are always going to try to pull you down. Always. But you have to have strong enough hands and arms to continue to climb and get to the top. And I'm not, I'm not at the top yet. I ain't nowhere near there. I'm still climbing. I'm still under construction. I still got work to do, just like anybody else. All right? But until I get to the top, I'm just going to keep on climbing, keep on pushing. People are always going to have something negative to say about people that are climbing. All right? So what do you guys think about jealousy? All right? How do y'all define it? How do y'all get over it? All right? Hey, let's do this, y'all. Let's go.